Yep, it's Janky Universe again, and uh, I'm back with another Chaos video. Oh, look at the packs, look at the side view. Oh, it's like a pack sandwich, you know. You got some filler, you got some uh, meat, and then a middle, you got a Strixhaven set booster. Uh, well, actually, that's not how a sandwich works. Technically, it would be top bun, middle bun, then filling. But uh, we're having this from the top down today, so we're going to start with Core 2021. And remember, Jank Universe, we are the magic channel with attitude. Whoopsh! So let's get into it. Core Set 2021, you know, if you're a longtime viewer of this channel, you know that I struggled for so long to be able to pull an Ugin. And, uh, yeah, it, it just, it hurt so much. So I'm hoping to redeem myself today. <laughs> Foil Rare, Volcanic Salvo. Um, this is guaranteed to be worth nothing. That is a terrible uh, card. And then Hooded Blightfang. I don't know if this is worth anything, but it's a snake boy. And, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of snakes, so it's not bad. And then, uh, yeah, the rest of these are all chaff. So I'm just going to go right to it. This will be a quick video, just running through the packs, but... Guilds of Ravnica now. So, Guilds of Ravnica, I think, has Abrupt Decay. Or, no, it's not Abrupt Decay. It's, um, what is it called? Ah, uh, it's, it's, you know what? I, I forget. It'll be edited. I'll figure out what it is. It'll be on the video. But there's also Shocklands. Um, Shocklands are always good. Okay, Lockets. Jeez. Night Veil vale Predator. Inspiring Unicorn, Pelt Collector. Hey, I think that's actually worth a little bit. Uh, he's an Elf Warrior. Whenever another creature you control enters the battlefield or dies, if it's greater power than Pelt Collector, it gets a 1-1 counter. Then if it has three or more counters on it, it has Trample. And, oh, that's what it's called, Assassin's Trophy. Oh, that's what the card's called. Oh, come on. <laughs> you know, you can't plan these things. Oh my gosh, that is, oh my goodness, that's, that's the pull of the video right there, I should just, I should just open the packs off camera now, that is hilarious, that is, <laughs> I just got a laugh to myself that I was like trying to figure out what the card was called, and then I pulled the sucker, Assassin's Trophy Foil, oh my gosh, <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> well, you know, Ravnica has given me the goods so far, so what could go wrong if I open Allegiance now? Well, to be fair, a lot could go wrong, but, I mean, I could just get a foil shock land and persistent petitioners. That's like, what, a, a 30, 40 cent common? <laughs> no, it's more like a dollar, I think. I'm going to set it aside just in case. I might be completely wrong, as I often am. Grow Spiral... Got the ban hammer, but now it's out of standard, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, Geyer Engineer, there he is. Oh, I love him. I love him. Sphinx of the Guild Pact, I hate this card. Macabre Mockery. And a Sphinx of Foresight. Yeah, that's not bad. Sphinx of Foresight, you can reveal it from your opening hand. If you do, you scry three. So it's basically just a ley line that sucks. And a Simic Guild Gate. Ooh, that got me. I thought it was going to be a foil shock, like I said. You can't call them all, I guess. But <laughs> I still I still can't get over how funny that is. The <laughs> Wow. You know, sometimes you can just feel it when you're about to pull a card, you know? War of the Spark. You know what I feel here? I feel Nickel Bolas. Or, uh... You know, any of the multitude of cards in this set that are actually worth pulling. You know, Narset, Teferi, Finale of Devastation, God Eternals, you know, any of those things. But, let's see what we get. We get ooh, Cruel Celebrant. That's a good start. It's a pretty solid uncommon. Aristocrats. We get Grateful Apparition. Oh, <laughs> I skipped. I skipped the, the, the last uncommon. It's Ashiok. That's our Planeswalker. Um, <laughs> and we have Neheb as our rare. It's, um, it's a zombie minotaur warrior. That is the most random set of uh, 
words I've ever heard. Dreadhorde Champion. He is the champion of the Dreadhorde. And there is an image of him. Uh, we're not him. This is an image of what the Dreadhorde kind of looks like, I think. I mean, I don't know many things about the lore. As we figured out when I incorrectly said that Sarah was one of the Titans. But, uh, you know, we uh, move on from these things. Speaking of moving on, we're going to move on to Strixhaven. Set booster. We do not get a list card, but that's okay. Because there are still Mystical Archive cards out there. Crushing disappointment. That's <laughs> that's how I felt in the last video. Uh, but, okay. Cody. Vociferous Codex. I don't even want to read this card. It's got too much text on it. We've got a Torrent Sculptor. We've got a Revitalize. And a Pigment Storm. Yeah, there was nothing worth talking about in that pack. Yeah, that was just a an Eep moment. But, speaking of Eep, Commander Legends now. This is uh, Go Big or Go Home, pretty much. You're going to look for one of the three big mythics, two or three big rares, and everything else is just garbage. And these packs are really hard for me to open for some reason. I had a lot of trouble with the last video, too. Oh, uh, there we go. All right, we'll just go right to the uncommons because nobody cares about these commons. Daring Saboteur, this was downshifted. This was, uh, I think, one of the Ixalan sets, probably a original Ixalan. This was a rare. Can you believe that? Sandstone Oracle. Cast down. All right, here we go. Here we go. Command Beacon. That's, that's something. It's not something to like write home about, but it's something. And uh, Kedis, Emberclaw Familiar. We've got Jared Carthalian, True Heir. He's here for what's his. And then we've got a Foil Scrounging Bandar and a Copy Token. Wow, that was... <laughs> Command Tower, or sorry, Command Beacon was probably the best thing we got there. Um, wow, yeah. Commander Legends has not given me very much luck um, on these openings. <laughs> Jumpstart, on the other hand, also hasn't given me very much luck, to be quite honest. Uh, I mean, I, I have to think to myself that if I open these packs off camera, they'd probably all be Jeweled Lotuses, right? Anyway, let's do the money shot. Minions! Oh, what's in Minions? I actually don't know. This could be um, Shieldred, I think. No, no, that would be Phyrexians. Yeah, that would be Phyrexes. I have no idea what's in this. Um, so I'm just going to open it and be surprised. Um, Alright. One thing I can't expect is that there'll be a thriving land and there will be um, one of the alternate uh, swamps, probably. Oh! It's Ghoul Caller Gisa! Wow! That's pretty... Wait. What? Okay, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but that looks pink. The set symbol looks pink and not orange. Is that a misprint? Look, look, I'll show you. Look, it doesn't that look pink? It looks like faded. The rest of the card looks fine, but that set symbol looks faded. Like pink. That is really crazy. I've never seen anything like this before. I don't know if this is just because Jumpstart has print issues, but... That literally is pink. I, I'm gonna sleeve this just in case. I mean, I know Ghoul Caller Geese is already a pretty good card, but that is really unique. That is literally pink. That, <laughs> wow. Well, oh boy, this video has had it all, really. Uh, we've had some fun predictions. We've had foil rares. We've had misprints, question mark? And we've also had some very bad packs, but Overall, the variance has been pretty good. I mean, we've got some pretty bad stuff, but we got some pretty good stuff, too. I mean, Gisa and Assassin's Trophy Foil are, like, some of the best things I've pulled on camera in recent memory. So, we're just going to move on to Iconic Masters. Oh, man. Last video, I got Obnixilis. And that was a mythic, so wouldn't it be nice to hit yet another mythic? Perhaps a Praetor? Perhaps Shieldred, as I expected from the minions? 
Well, we don't really know, but uh, we'll see what we get. Gutter Snipe. Oh, love this guy as an uncommon. Love him. Great Teacher's Decree. Doom Blade. And Kokusho, the Evening Star. I think this is a pretty good pull. Ever since that Commander Rules change, I think that was actually... Um, I think this guy's somewhat somewhat good. So I'd say 5 to 10, maybe 15 on the generous side is what I'd say for him. And then a Thought Scour um, as our foil uncommon. And, and another dragon. We got the same token in the last video. Wow, this has been a pretty good video so far. Wow, this is, this is going too well, almost. It's not jank enough. Let's fix that with Double Masters. I... <laughs> Off camera, I opened Mana Crypts off of this set, but on camera, the best I've I've opened, I think, is like a two dollar dar, a two dollar card maybe. But uh, anyway, double masters, man. Ah, <sighs> here we go. Culling Dias or Dies, I don't even know how it's pronounced. Oriok Salvagers, enlarge, and our first card. Graven Cairns. Can never be mad with a filter land. These guys are like five, ten bucks. And Mazarik, Crawl Death Priest. Never even heard of this card. Honestly, couldn't tell you what it does if I wasn't looking at it. Even then, I can't even tell you what it does. Foils. Yeah, who cares? You're not gonna get anything good in the foil slot here. Yeah, nothing. But we do get a squirrel. Wow. Double Masters never fails to disappoint. I buy it every single time, and it always lets me down. It's kind of a joke now uh, on this channel. Ever since that first video, the Double Masters box opening that Ethan had on the channel. Ever since then, Double Masters has just had nothing. But, you know what might have something? Kaldheim Collector Boosters. Foil, Phyrexian, Vorinclex, anyone? Yeah, wouldn't that be something? Holy moly. I could buy a new camera. <laughs> Jeez. So we'll go ahead and get to the goodies. We've got a Plains Snow Covered. Frosty Plains. <gasps> Tales of the Ancestors for our Commander card. Oh, man. Old Growth Troll. Oh, gosh. We got trolled. Oh, gosh. Colvori, God of Kinship. And he's also the Ringheart Crest. No idea what these are worth. Whoosh. Agar. Sammy Agar. <laughs> uh, Essica's, Essica's Chariot. Oh, Finn the Fang. I thought I saw the green border. I got excited. Finn the Fang Bearer. And Cosmos Elixir for our extended foil. Wow. Um, we do get a foil Tybalt. Um emblem but that is well you know I can't really complain because although the collector pack was pretty chaff everything else has been pretty solid this video so yeah all I can say is um next time you get a pink card uh, tag me in a photo of it on Instagram I want to see if it's just me um, or if everybody out there is also crazy uh, thanks for tuning in until next time